Okay. Long ago, before humanity came into existence. Descending onto this place, she came from the sky, one onto this world, trapped alone she cries. Let me return home to heaven, it is where I belong. Children, please help me. Children, send me back home. Children, for this reason you were born. Ah, meteorite. That is the day that humanity was born, and when the younger her, they were destroyed. After several ages of destruction, this story begins. Hello everyone, and welcome to this crazy game. It's La Mulena and I'm... and Dark is here so he can... Well, I already played through the game but he doesn't really know about it so... I'm mostly showing it to him, mostly like he's showing me Mass Effect right now. Finally, I reached La Mulena! The of suffering. Yeah, basically. The adventure starts here. Uh, yeah. The protagonist is uh, Lomisa, if I remember correctly. Either way, um, yeah, it's, a, it's an archaeologist, a perfectly normal and totally not ninja archaeologist. Indiana Jones. Yeah, sure, let's go with that. Oh, Lemesa, that was it. Welcome! Welcome! You're the Professor Lemesa, am I right? I think uh, I know you're looking for La Mulana, right? Ruins can be reached down by the outskirts of this village. Her father won't enter to do his research, but he ain't been back for some days now. I ain't got a clue to what he's after, but since ancient times, folks been passing rumors down about secret treasures. Hey, even the origin of life itself might be hiding inside these ruins. Generation after generation, we protected Lamplena. Even so, I don't really know what her secrets are. I won't stop you from entering the ruins, but mind you, the mysteries of La Mulana are unsolved because those who go in don't come back out, dead or alive. Who knows what happens to you? Anyway, I'll tell my people to open the entrance. Take away with you too. By the way, that is one snazzy laptop, and is meant used for archaeological exploration? That is amazing! So thin and light! And of course, looks like it's made in Japan! I hear they make good games there too! <laughs> oh, one last thing! Like your father, you look like you need a hand! Take this software! I never update myself! It only gets incoming emails from me! You can't reply to the same all sort of tips! Let me see you then! Okay, self put my there! It's installed, but don't forget you got to activate it from the software screen. And be sure to read all my emails. If I send you an email telling you to come back to the village, well, well then you better come back. But it's alright, you're set now. Off you go. Doesn't have a light bulb. Apparently can program. Hmm. Pretty much. Yeah, there's a for mail mail it how to activate them. Oh. And we immediately got an email, of course. You can trust this software for anything related to, to, to messages from me. Function only receives emails from me. Peters, this is the latest version of the site, self put mainly. There are no plans for a version of it. There is no help page. Help and troubleshooting requests will not be supported. <laughs> Thank you for using the self put mainly. Great app there, huh? Man, he can compete with Apple for customer service. Right? Oh, yes, a right uh, menu. I don't to, to reach you now. Likes mm -hmm. of HP. Still got a ways to go to reach the likes of HP. 
Ugh. Yeah, there's some... Um, it's alright on menu. It's a... Uh, it's a bit empty. We'll get more stuff later. Yeah, we can't really grab onto the other side here, sadly, but... Oh well. Where's this place? You're selling a shield! Don't take it, this trash. And there's the weatherproof case. Might take that one later. And of course, there's a gun! Eh, nothing. Hello? Go along. Take this. Hmm. And the most important item in the world. The hand scan. He doesn't have any ninja stars. I'm disappointed. And of course, I nearly get an email about it. Research is necessary. Yes, if you want a hand scanner, you should use it to find out about all sorts of places. Trading stone tablets is a given, but you, you should scan anything from skeletons to mysterious objects. And to think about of it, I give a map of the areas surrounding the village to a man long ago, but he still has not come back. He might have died somewhere out there. Why don't you take a look at some of the skeletons you might find? You might find them out. Eh, yeah, kind of important. Gee, imagine that! So yeah, we can now equip that, and we can scan things. Oh, come on. Or we can read our email. Good morning, session. Dear Professor Lemesa, it's me. I decided I should give this email thing a try. I bet you are still wandering around the village. As a warm-up before going into the ruins, why don't you try to get a hold of the shell horn? It is inside the, the treasure chest at some canyon. Located about the entry to the rooms. You should be able to open it with a weight. There's time to place a weight. Oh, Alright, I guess I'll send you in my sleep on Stop at my tent if you get more than one check. Here's the question How does he know what you're doing? Oh. There's a hot springs on the outskirts of the village. On the way to the altar. It's a good way to rest your bones. Indeed, there is. Perhaps another shop right up here. She sells more weights, she has a stigly reader for translations, we're gonna need that. And yeah, map reader. We're also gonna need that. And yeah, she doesn't like it when we don't buy stuff. A PC shop doesn't have light, has to use torches. Yep. Because that makes perfect sense, right? Mm-hmm. This is the hot springs. We heal if we stand there, but we're at full health right now. We can also scan it. Hot spring effects. Recovers health, rheumatism, curry addiction. By the way, if you What's post the menu, he starts eating curry. <laughs> okay, where does he get it from, though? Uh, void pockets. And alcohol. Much like the other questions I have, like, yo, doesn't that laptop have a battery? Yeah, details. Minor detail, but detail nonetheless. Danger, no entry beyond this point. Don't tell me what to do. No shit! Oh, yeah, no, there. Um... Yeah, we, we literally can't beat that thing yet. Also, it did help my health in one hit. There's this guy, Tom. Legend has it that Argus, a monster with a blue body that is covered in dice, is weak against the serpent staff. Well, we know when we know exactly when to come back when we have whatever that thing is. Seriously. Reading is an important skill in this game, you know? Hmm, I wonder what. Why well, you not dead? Is the point. Yeah, there's no well, there's no fall damage, but there is a fall stone. So it's simple. Just don't fall in front of anything. When I get that right away, though. Oh, 
Oh yes. This is a side point. Very important, those. Yep. So, there's my question. If the ruins are to the, to the right, and that thing is to the left, how did you get here? Uh, actually, we should probably go up first. Oh, look, a skeleton. Scan. I got, my, I got a map and was looking at it as I walked, and then I fell in sort of like, huh, well, maybe it's not that funny. Obtain the map. Watch the map while we have to actually activate the map software, and then there's the map. Sounds about right. Every room has a name. Right below where it says surface? Hmm. How about that? That's actually relevant for various scenes. This is still some canyon. Some room share things. This is the shell horn. Its entire purpose is to make us sound when you solve a puzzle. I mean, that can be helpful if you're not sure if you've actually finished. Yeah. Don't think the birds like you. No, no, they don't. Hi again, it's me. There's a, la there's a large waterfall right outside the village, and I just wanted to warn you not to jump in for fun. Because it's got a pretty strong flow. If you get carried off to the bottom of the waterfall, you ain't coming back. It's not wrong. At, at least not at this point. That's uh, that thing's pretty dangerous. I can, however, try to open that door. If the birds don't fuck you in the in the arse first. Indeed. Oh damn it, I lost the money because of the other bird. Yep. I could just go die right now. Guess I'll die die! could go heal before I lose all my progress. Probably a better idea. Especially after some of our experiences with, you know, Mass Effect. Yeah. Um, well, this game does have auto saves. It's only when you walk over one of the save points, so... It's not it's like it makes much of a difference. <laughs> So they're about as useful as Mass Effects. Pretty much. You be like that sometimes. Yeah, pretty much all they do is save you from having to open the save menu every time. Yeah. Oh yeah, that is a rather relevant bit of information. The whip hits things above you. Makes sense. So you can technically hit enemies from the from you know the floor below. Can be kind of important, you know. Moderately. Oh yeah, you see that blue bar that's filling up on their TH finger? Yeah. That's the quote unquote experience bar. Oh yeah, this is a stupid secret. Death Village. There's no hint about it. It's it's a random software whose entire purpose is to it gives you a bonus if you combine it with other random software, and I don't even remember which bonus it was with which software. <laughs> okay then. Uh, anyway, um, that blue bar is quote unquote the experience bar. You don't really get any stronger, but when the bar fills up, you do get full HP back. That's it. It's the I mean, one other method of healing. I guess that could be useful. Yeah. Oh, well, yeah, you can scan other things like that. Split gate. Similar to the candy vampire of Holy Island, but decorated differently. 
I have no idea what the still can ever Nope. Do. You're Never. Mm -hmm. I want a completely useless uh, uh, secret that never gives you a hint, but is there anyway? Shortcut. I mean, it can shave, shave off like maybe what? A half second? Something like that. It's me, you see the square box looking thing with the entrance to the ruins? Try pushing it. There's something similar inside the ruins that you can push as well. So it's the one who said that he didn't know what was inside. If something I know, right? looks suspicious, don't just hit it with your weapon, try, try pushing it, later. Yep, then there's those center in the ruins beware. They lure within this land of Ordeus, that awaits the powerless. They will speak only to those who have learned the seven histories and overcome the challenges, baby. <laughs> yep, there's the ruins. Oh look, a skeleton! Mm-hmm. I prefer the music in the second game, but... Still pretty good. Yeah, they are indeed little wood traps. And yes, that is indeed something we cannot read. Unsurprisingly, we cannot read that one either. <laughs> sure. Ooh, bats! Also, there's a pressure plate. Treasure! Would that be attention to pressure plates? Okay, stick the door. Nice HP! When you feel strong, game uh, holding the door. Hey, Thor, it's me. I thought you might open the a treasure chest at the gate of guidance by now. You saw the two in my view. The item inside that treasure chest is called the Sacred. It's a secret pressure that gives you strength. Strength increases just by having it. Don't eat it though. Don't eat it though, he says. As if you could fit it in your mouth. Right. Uh, yeah. This area is called the Gate of Guidance. We do not have a map for it. Each area requires a separate map. Of course. I want to get down there. Also, I haven't read that skeleton. No? I can. Guess not. Oh well. Moving on. Maybe I can read that other skeleton. Maybe I can find more money so I can get the... Ah, yes. Apparently this is the pillar's gate. A room within at the gate of Islands. So there's a name for each room, huh? <laughs> there's something interesting. But I'm likely going to die soon. Yeah, no shit. Poor bastard. By the way, there's technically not real... Jumping is a bit weird in this game, like, if you jump straight up, then you have control me there. If you jump up here, like, to the side, you kind of can't, at least not unless you hit, like, a wall, and then you can change sides. Okay, then. Wars. They're Greek to me. I should have I should have bought the gate for you there. Yeah. I should have too. That's gonna hit that words for ya. Yup. Can't actually read that one. Cool. Welcome back. Yeah, the game is mostly a lot of exploration and well, really getting money so we can translate stuff. At least they remain glowing if you can't actually translate them. But yeah, uh, I'll explain that later when we can actually, you know, read it. Room names are written within the puzzles on the stone tablets. But how should I know the name of each room in the ruins? I wish I had a map or something. Indeed. Then, no, the room names if we don't have enough for it. But how's the map know the room names? Um, uh, reasons. The... Top, ten, top yeah. ten questions science still can't answer. 
right? Yeah. That's uh, a door that requires a way to open, and it's a piece of shit, so it closes the after you go through a few other rooms. I'm just here to place that. Sounds about right. As you can probably notice, there isn't really a way to get there. <laughs> but hey, at least it open for when we do get there. Ooh, money. What are you getting there? What? Six. They did seem to drop money rather quickly. Maybe we, maybe we should try just going to beat on them a bit more. Because Cliff Reader will make this a lot easier. Oh. That complicates things a bit. Yeah, they don't respawn quite that quickly. But that's what those things are? I don't know. Riveting. Can't believe I fell for such an obvious trap. Yeah, um... In case you were wondering, yeah, that is an insta-kill. Ooh, money. No shit. And now we have enough. Yeah, Leon money is kind of important. Usually how it goes. And then you get ways to completely chase the money game and... But that's for later. Don't worry, we won't always have to walk, uh, walk back and forth everywhere. That would be horrible given how large this Metroidvania is. But hey, shortcut. Yeah. So glad he conserved momentum across rooms. <laughs> Leaf Reader! Like everything else, you have to actually activate it. They take up memory space! Yep. Which is why I don't really remember those too well, because... I mean, the... That. It's like, yeah, they can give you a, com a combat advantage if you combine two of them. Uh, <laughs> that's like your yeah, entire really computer. <laughs> like, that's like your entire computer. <laughs> also, fun fact, most of those apps are based on other Flash games that Nigoro has made. Huh. I'm sad. Mm-hmm. So like, I'm not sure about these ones, but Dead Village is a game they made, see? Niguro's first Flash game. In this puzzler, you lead a man through a hundred times. It doesn't really say much, but eh. It's a cool little... Mm -hmm. I don't know. Mm -hmm. I, like how, I like how when he starts falling a good distance, he kinda grabs on his head. So it doesn't fall off. Of course, what good is an archaeologist without his hat? Right? Um, we can end now read those. Kinda cool how it goes, it gets translated as it starts showing up. Yeah. This is where the mother lays to rest. In this path of trials, only heroes who do not fear death are permitted to proceed. Dun dun dun! Alright, there wasn't anything else to read there, so... So either the villagers only stock one of these items at a time, or everyone who's come before you was like, I don't need any of this, and wandered in. That's all right. Because everything's sold out. Yep. Behold the gate of islands, that away is those who would disturb this land. Okay. 
Toma. Offer three lights to the heavens. That's a hint for later. <laughs> hey, That's one of the, the fact that they aren't anything relevant like that right here right now. Also, we cannot scan in mid I just tried that. Not gonna take the chest. Mm -hmm. The chest on the bottom floor of the last room? It's closed. Those chests always require something like a puzzle or something to actually open. The shell horn was easy because it just had a pedestal right next to it to open it with a weight. Courageous one embrace the power if those seek it power, group time courage. That's actually him for this room. I like the okay at the end of each one. Yeah, that's just a press A to close or whatever. To yeah, press the some holy ground. Take care not to cause any needless damage. Those who do not hit this one will be without punishment from the heavens. Okay, so this is where I start explaining this. These little boxes, there's several of them. All of them contain either a main weapon or a sub weapon. See to the, that blue eye up there? It doesn't like it when you break things. No shit. Seeing one of those eyes in the room is basically your cue to not trying to not try brute forcing things. You don't say. Uh, uh. Hey, man, there's a trap door. I noticed. Thanks for letting me know, though. I guess that those who have courage cannot take weapons, but if I jump into the spikes, I'll die. Yeah, right, that's what the, what the tablet up there said. So, um... Reading is important. <coughs> you don't say. You get the ninja star! Yep. Yes, me. Sometimes there are weapons inside the ruins. They look normal, but being weapons from the ruins, they're a bit funny. You can't use the weapons without ammo. Correct ammo that matches the shape of each weapon. But you do that, you'll be able to use your weapons. And now the store upstairs should have an actual stock of them. Because they, they only sell ammo, not the actual weapon. Seems legit. Right, now the exploration can actually begin in full because we have access to the Glyph Raider. Those who challenge the Guardian, no dice strength, yet awaits the powerless. The future awaits those who train themselves and take on the challenge. Yeah, that's a pretty generic one. The path of gazing, face, of gazing faces lies within the heavenly corridor. The hidden floor, I found it. Oh, they got over the side down. That is a rather important clue, which I'm going to take a screenshot of. What is Oh, I probably already got it done and nearly forgot. Oh yeah, if you walk off a ledge, you have like no control whatsoever. You just fall. That's why in some cases I'm gonna try to jump and then control myself. You know, kind of important information. Also, you can just walk right through spicy from the sides. Hmm. I guess that makes sense. That was an easy puzzle, so... Yup, it's a map. If you see an easy puzzle, then chances are it's the map of the area. Speaking of which, Heavenly Corridor. That guy just spoke about it. How about that? See that white thing on the ground? Shut up, that. <laughs> yeah, not really surprising, but you're like, yeah. it out. 
It's like block puzzle 101. Ew, block puzzles. This is the most important chest in the game. You'll find out why soon. So, it seems that there are shops and these ones. Oh well, I'm about to die, so it doesn't matter. I mean, I guess. And yes, they are indeed shops within the ones, because why not? Well, yeah, haven't you ever played Mystery Dungeon? Can't really go across them. Well, not without falling down, so... Let's go to the right first. It should connect one cell in the map. When one swallows, the other sticks out. That was... Um, that was such a stupid... Uh, hint, but it, I mean, it technically makes sense. Do you want to try figuring it out? Because we've technically already seen everything we need. Something to do with putting something in the mouth of the uh, yep. statue. Yep, see how there's a line connecting the two? Yeah. You can hit that thing. And now we have an elevator. It'd be like that. Two brave souls, quite solitude, a rope that reaches a high place. What is this brave soul? Well, not you, obviously. I'm yeah, pretty good, you didn't get it. Look, money! Yeah, getting that is, uh... Ah, really bad, really annoying. Also, that's what happens when you fall down that pit. <laughs> nope. He does not have anything to say, it seems. A watchtower soars above the Temple of the Sun. Traps to capture thieves have been newly set. In a newly constructed world, too, the key has been hidden. Actually, just gonna screenshot that. <laughs> he also doesn't have anything to say. Dead men tell no tales. Except the ones that do, apparently. Um, how about no? Even though I would technically don't need to kill them. Pour thy memories into the Holy Graal. Gra Leave thy mark on this land, then raise the Holy Graal and recall lands once that. In doing so, do only one second stand upon that land. I found an escape route. This ruins seem to be connected in a very mysterious fashion. Indeed. Um, see where we are on the map? Yeah. Hmm. I don't remember if there was another hint to show you of that, but... We opened the most important chest. So I guess I might as well... Oh, I'm, I'm out of weights, I should probably go restore. Ow. Down you go! Well, I might as well wreck this while I'm here. You could also push the white box, the white platform, and white box are run to each other. No shit! Yes. Who gave you that idea? Anyway, most important chest. Holy Grail. By now you must be done exploring the Gate of Heavens. <laughs> Not even close. I think there was a real handy treasure there called the Holy Grail. Do you see the stone tablets that were shaped differently from the others? If you read from those tablets, your memories of the location you're in are poured into the grail. From, from there, you can use the holy grail to travel to any, any of the recording locations. What do they call it these days? Warping? Yep. How do you know all this, old man? So... Yep. Very convenient. I need more whites anyway. 
I'm weird. I'm always gonna need more weights. So many weights. Weights for days. <laughs> That's funny to me. Whee! Might wanna... You might wanna save. Yeah. We're That's... getting to be that time. Indeed. So, yeah. I hope you'll have fun. And, uh, guess we'll see you next time. Bye!